Yeah, come on. Take it back to some hip hop. <laughs> the poet, and you know it. Know it. Ride with me. We have to bring it to the forefront. Like dice shooting, squatting at the storefront. While a team walk in trying to buy a blunt. But let me be blunt and right to the point. I know. Hold on. I got this though. Hey, tell 50 Cent, I got this. Don't even worry about it. Hey, you tell him to do what he's doing. I got this. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Hold on. What's up, Matthew? Matthew, what's up, man? Hey, don't worry about it now. Who you talking about? Man, I had to pay child support too. I don't even get to see my kid. So what you talking about? Look, chill out. I, look, I'm not Jay-Z. I know what Jay-Z, he got you fired. I understand that. Don't worry about that though. But guess what? You got a break, man. It's gonna be all right, brother. Gonna work it out? Okay, we work it out. It's time now. Two minutes is change. Run it. What's up? This is Vigilante for Two Minutes and Some Change and Reason for Rhymes.com, Boss Sports Network, all that. I love hip hop, I love blackness, and I love black people. What up? Check this out. As I get into this show, I want to first talk about what I told you last show about Steve Stout and 50 Cent. The things he said about 50 Cent, what happened? 50 Cent confronted him at a Knicks game. And now, as we go into this week, 50 Cent is going back and forth. He kind of later took down his tweet. Now, Rick Ross had a nerve to say 50 Cent is insignificant, and he's not going to answer him back. So do you believe that 50 Cent is insignificant? Now, you can say that, you know, if you check out this new video, The Funeral, it looks like 50 Cent is on his way back to doing his thing musically. But to say insignificant, it's a bit much, don't you think, Rick Ross? He's not insignificant, he's 50 Cent. He still get the headlines. He still, he's boxing. You got, this is 50s.com, I made the case last week. So now what you don't did is you don't got the boy from Queens back hungry again and also on your ass. So you better watch it. It's about to heat up, y'all. About to be a hot spring, I hope. Cooler heads prevail though. But it is entertaining to see this. Rick Ross has been consistent when it comes to music, so nobody's hating on Rick Ross. But it will be good to see if they just keep it wrapped. If not, then let it go. But that's my two minutes. Yeah. Let's go back. back. Time traveling. Back to the future. Man, I told Matthews got some form. Hey Matthews. Check it. I know Jay-Z got you fired and you're no longer the manager of Beyonce and you had to go to court and ask the judge to give you a break. You were paying $12,000 a month and they awarded you that. Now you only pay, well, I think $2,700 a month. So that's a big deduction because you told them that. You don't have the money no more to do that because you're not you know, managing um, Beyonce anymore so you don't have the money and the judge obliged. They're obliged. And my point that I want to get to Besides Matthew's nose uh, having to pay child support for a kid that he should pay child support and be in that kid's life, it's the fact: do fathers get a bad rap when it comes to the law, when it comes to child support, as well as visitation rights? Because you always hear that kid. I mean, the men are deadbeat dads don't take care of business, and they get knocked for it. But what about the fathers that want to be in the kid's life and the mother is not letting the um, kids see their father? What do you call that? Is it a deadbeat mom? And then shouldn't there be a law that can stop that? Because I've seen so many people, and I've lived through it myself, so many people use their child where you can't even see your child, but yet you're paying child support for it. You're paying half. We saw the great po uh, poem by P Prentice, you know, uh, he was on Arsenio Hall talking about he wanted to see his, you know, have to spend more time with his child. So I, I asked the two minutes of change audience, do you think the laws are unequal when it comes to a woman and a man when it comes to visitation right and as well as custodial custody of kids? Now I'm not saying that you should take you know, the kid away from the mother, but I'm saying if a father wants to be in that kid's life, he should be in that kid's life. You know, there's too many deadbeat dads around. 
So I think that we need to talk about that because I see it happening in my city. I see it happening all across the nation where black men and males, period, don't know the rights, don't have the resources to go after a mother to get visitation rights. So normally the kid is left out in this tug of war of daddy, mommy. And it all stems from what we all do when we make our mistakes, having kids out of wedlock. That's what it really comes down to if you believe in that moral compass. That's what it is. But at the same time, we deserve a right to see our kids, especially if we're paying child support and doing what we're supposed to do, then you shouldn't. Mothers, real mothers wouldn't do that. So we got to get the ratchetness out of the family court system. That's my two minutes of change. Yeah. yeah. Let's go back. Time traveling. Back to the future, future to the past. Now it's a present. Now you know when we do two minutes and change, it's two minutes and some change. I know y'all say, well, hey, man, show longer than two minutes. But here's the change. ESPN did a special on the N word and banning the N word in the NFL, where you can't say the N word. And you know, from the outside, it looks like, wow, okay, they're trying to ban this this word that's meant so much, that's brought so much pain to my race doing slavery and do you know even now and it's a hate word but i question the reason why the nfl is doing this because when you ban that word you're aiming at black athletes and that's the f word you know to deal with uh, a person that's homosexual there's cuss words and stuff. So if you draw, if you go after the N word, or you go after all the other cuss words and things that can hurt people, because if not, it's kind of like what Richard Sherman said of Seattle Seahawks, that it's almost racist that you're going after this word. But what's crazy than that is the fact that if we try to protest against it, it looks like we are champion the word nigga. Like we're championing that word. So it's a hell of a quagmire to be in when you talk about the N word. You know, and how you want it out. Because you're tackling somebody or in the locker room, black people say it all the time. And I don't think you're gonna ever take it away from them. But the way you're going after it, I don't I think there's some funny stuff going on with that, to be honest, because if you're gonna do that you might well go after the rest of the words. Just don't single out that. But it's crazy that you're trying to ban it, and then you got people like me and other people saying, wait a minute, where this coming from? We agree, but we don't like how you're doing it. So it looks crazy. Either way, the NFL is always trying to be ahead of the curve when it comes to their spin doctrine. So just like with the Michael Sounds thing and the things you, you, you're going to deal with later, you they're right now ahead of the, the race and trying to get the N-word out of there. And when you do that, I don't know is it such a good thing to do the way NFL is doing it because there's already rules in place for certain things that you can get a flag for. But to just single out that and not the other stuff, I think I kind of disagree with that. You know what I'm saying? It sounds crazy that I'm disagreeing with that, but I don't like how it's structured. I don't like where you're going because NFL, you need to take the Redskins off of Washington. You need to hire more blacks in the ownership part and management part and more coaches and some of these same old recycled white coaches that you always bring in. And don't get it twisted. Just because you hire a few black coaches, we talking about we want to see more defense coordinators too. See, don't play that slick game with me. I understand you do a few coaches and we got some coaches. No, we talking about coordinators too. We ain't stupid. Not the offensive line coach. We talking about defense Defensive coordinators and offensive coordinators. Yeah, I know my sports. Don't think you can slip us in and throw us like one or two coaches and think that you don't solve the whole problem uh, in, in the NFL because you haven't. I'm just letting you know that. But it's all good. But you tell me, hit me up on Vigilante on Twitter, B I G A L A N T E E, and tell me what you think about them trying or thinking about banning the M word. That's my two minutes of change. Yeah. Let's go back. Time traveling. Back to the future. Future to the past. Now it's a present. Let me answer this phone. I know the show. I'm about to do it now. Excuse me. 
Stop calling me. Damn. Oh. We're walking into the smack of the week. And this week, I got some good ones, but my editor told me, yo, you forgot to smack somebody from the last show. And you said at the beginning, you had some form. You're right. Steve Stout. I told you, and guess what? Anyway, back to back to my next smack of my opponent. Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. It's okay to love the culture, but man, come on. Come on. You sip and serve. You blowing your life away. Don't you know the track record of young child stars? They never really make it to the next level without a lot of controversy. Why are you causing it? Are you, you know what you should do? You and Hannah Montana should get together and fall in love with each other. Cause y'all messing y'all life up. So both of y'all, both of y'all, and I call her Hannah Montana cause that's what I know her from. I don't care what her real name is, Cyrus, Aiky Bricky Heart. Y'all both get a slap. <laughs> Once again, let me, let me say it like this. We know game is a big dude. No games of dope MC can bar you to death. When has it become cool to kiss and tell? What the hell is going on with these celebrities, these rappers, kissing and tell? Man, let Kanye West do his thing, man. Y'all all coming out the woodwork, talking about, you know, hit Kim Kardashian and doing all that type of stuff. She must got some good stuff because everybody's talking about it. But guess what? Let that man who got a child by her and planning on marrying, do that without y'all jumping in, looking like some haters, better yet like snitches. Ray J, come on, we saw the video today. We know you hit it. It don't matter who hit it first. So guess what? Every girl you got, unless she's a virgin, somebody hit it first. Go ask your baby mama. This has been Vigilante. Smack the back. That's what I'm That's what I'm game. Smack you again, game. I smack you again, game. What you gonna do? Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Let's go back. Time traveling. Back to the future, future to the past. On a serious note, Mark O'Mara, who got George Killerman Zimmerman off, is now having some thoughts about making a proposal to kind of adjust the stand your ground laws. A little, a little too late, right? It's a little too late. But hopefully, you, since your conscience is eating you, that you go help Marissa Alexander out in this bogus case where she may get 60 years. 60 years for shooting a warning shot. What the hell's wrong with these politicians and the lawmakers with these type of stupid laws that one person shoots a warning shot and get a chance, may have a chance to get 60 years, and somebody that actually killed somebody in cold blood is free to walk on the beach or be a celebrity to try to box somebody. Don't make sense, Mark. So once you take on that to atone for your sins. But until then, you get a smack, 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 smack. Hey, smack you. I'm taking them out. So I'm stepping with a verbal weapon when I converge 86 shots on MCs from 19 and older. Spit at you with the bird. And it's magic when I throw a no rhyme over my shoulder. This show, Two Minutes and Change, was brought to you by Chauncey Clyde. You know, be that boy. Check him out in the stores and check out what he got up next. Peace. Park. You that sucker MC they was talking about back in the 80s in the park. You got no heart, but here's a spark for the real hip hop lovers to understand. Vigilante is a dope, 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 dope. Yeah, dope, y'all. I'm the poet, y'all. Hip hop and it don't stop. Hip hop and it don't quit. Is this some dope? Yeah, hip hop and it don't stop. Hip